Hey, welcome to Electron Online, and here's another example of how we can use the simple to geometric identities to solve something like this. Well, first of all, we have an addition of two fractions here, and probably what we want to do here is find the common denominator, which is the product of the two, which means uh, we're going to multiply the top and the bottom here by this denominator. We're going to multiply the top and the bottom here by this denominator. And let's see what we get. So this is equal to 1 plus the sine of x over the cosine of x multiply times this denominator 1 plus the sine of x divided by 1 plus the sine of x plus and then over here we're going to take this the cosine of x divided by 1 plus the sine of x and multiply the top and the bottom by this denominator right here which is the cosine of x divided by the cosine of x now when you look at that, you realize that both fractions have the same denominator, so we can write that over a common denominator. So this is equal to everything over the cosine of x multiplied times 1 plus the sine of x. And in the numerator, let's multiply that out. So we get 1, because 1 times 1 is 1, plus twice the product of those two, so that would be 2 times the sine of x plus the sine squared of x. And then over here we have the cosine times the cosine is plus the cosine square of x. All right, now we have to use some of our identities. Remember that the sine square of x plus the cosine square of x is equal to 1. So this can now be written as 1 plus 2 times the sine of x plus 1 divided by the cosine of x times 1 plus the sine of x. All right. Now we can combine the two, 1 plus 1 is 2, so this is equal to 2 plus 2 times the sine of x divided by the cosine of x times 1 plus the sine of x. And then you may see that if you factor out a 2 in the numerator, we'll have something that's similar in the numerator and denominator that we can factor out. So this is 2 times 1 plus the sine of x divided by uh, the cosine of x times 1 plus the sine of x. So this cancels out with that. And now we have 2 divided by cosine of x, which you could write as, hmm, looks like the secant of x. So this is equal to 2 times the secant of x, and that's probably the, oop, not an exponent here. Let me put it right there. And that's probably the simplest way of writing that. Hmm, pretty interesting that this simplifies to something as simple as that. That's how we do that.